Hey YouTube, it's ACB Telecommunications. Um, today I'm doing a video um, talking to you guys about the best DNS servers that you could use um, on a Telstra Big Pond internet service. Um, this will work on anything. Um, you can do this um, on ADSL um, and on the new NBN um, services you can also use this if you don't have nbn but you don't have adsl and you might have cable broadband or fiber optic broadband that isn't supplied by nbn um it does say here something about this works on adsl and cable for it works for adsl and cable customers um but i can confirm also that this will work just for anyone who works with um who has broadband with Telstra Big Pond. Um, to be honest, I can also say that this will work if you're actually not with Telstra as well. Um, considering that Telstra pretty much owns majority of the lines and telecommunication and data com exchanges and wiring within Australia, they all pretty much link up with some type of Telstra link up. So if you're with TPG, you're with Telstra. The only customers that I could say aren't with Telstra um, are Optus. They're the only ISP in which have their own network. Um, so if you're with Optus, don't. You can use this, um, but I'm sure there's a. If I type in on the internet here, Optus DNS servers. Here, right here. So right here are, uh, um, wait, hold on. Okay, yeah. So right here, I'll put it in. I'll put it in the description below. If you're with, if you're with Telstra Big Pond, or any other service provider that isn't Optus, the best DNS servers you can possibly get. This is an estimate, so that you can probably have a better DNS server, but to find out the best DNS server, you're gonna to have to download an application on your Mac or PC called, oh, actually no, it's only for your, it's only for, um, oh no, you can do it for Mac. Um, it's called Namebench, I've got it on my PC. And so if you download that app, that will actually tell you um, the best primary, secondary, and it gives you a third DNS server. The, those, DNS, those DNS servers, if you assign them to your PlayStation, your computer, or any device, you are guaranteed the best possible DNS connection, the best speeds on that DNS server. Because the default DNS server that you get by your modem router isn't actually a DNS server. That DNS server is just a DNS server that directs you to another DNS server, which more than likely might be your ISPs, but sometimes it's not always. So, say for instance, I live in New South Wales, I would enter this as my primary and this as my secondary. If I live in Victoria, same goes, but just different servers. They're all they're all got different addresses. Queensland, Tasmania, ACT, South Australia, Northern Territory, they both have the same, and Western Australia. Now for you people who are Optus users, uh, you guys only have one. The, uh, only you guys only have one DNS server in which is the best one and that's that that's your primary and that's your secondary now the reason I'm doing this video is for, so if you've got a PlayStation 3 console or a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox 360 or an Xbox one and you're getting either a DNS error or you're getting a DNS error on any device or you just have slow internet Give this a go, changing your DNS servers manually to these DNS servers and see if that changes anything, okay? It's not always going to fix stuff, but um, it, do it definitely does stabilize because being the default DNS server that your modem router will provide you with, it might change your DNS server every time you log on or something. And sometimes it might log you onto a DNS server that's not so good. So that's what that, that auto technology does it doesn't really always get the right decision but um yeah 
Uh, so that's pretty much it. I'll actually do a video on how to do, how to use Namebench. So obviously I'll put the description of this link and this link for Optus in the description below. But um, I'll let you do a video next on how to use Namebench. I'll use my um, I'll use my PC. Um, Namebench actually takes a long time to use. Like you're gonna have to not teach yourself. It's easy to use once you install it. You open it up and just run it. But once you run it, it actually takes like half an hour to an hour to actually uh, give you a result because it actually goes through every single local DNS that your internet connection can, in, in arm's reach, can, can connect to and it will test them all out via the ping, the packet lost, etc. to find out which one's the fastest or which three are the fastest. So I'll do a video on that, but this is just a not quick fix. This will this will this will fix you up permanently, but um, it's not as good as Namebench. And Namebench will obviously give you the best, but if you just need a fix, say for instance you got a PS3, PS4, Xbox One, or Xbox Series, I know they are prone to DNS errors. Um, this is how you fix it: manually type in your ISP's DNS, even if you're not with Telstra. As I said, if you're not with Telstra. If you're with, if you're not with Telstra but you're not with Optus, put in the Telstra DNS uh, IP, and if you're obviously with Optus, give them a go. Other ISPs like uh, TP-Link will have their own DNSs, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the best ones are probably to be uh, Telstra's because since they pretty much own and they're going to be running off their network, so that's that done. And I hope this helped you out, and I'll be back in the next video on how to use Namebench.